Hi, my name is Nettie Owens and I'm the owner of Sapari Solutions Professional Organizing and creator of the Take Control System, which you can check out on TakeControlSystem.com. And this video actually is not for those folks out there who are getting organized, although you may want to listen to it yourself. Um, it's actually for everyone else. So if you already consider yourself an organized person and you've got a place for everything and everything in its place and going into a messy home kind of makes you feel a little, ugh, you just want to get your fingers on all that stuff. This video is for you. So this may not be you and you may not be this particular person, um, but I have a feeling that when you don't see yourself in a particular situation, it can be really hard to relate. So tonight, I'm asking you to imagine yourself in someone else's shoes. I want you to take a moment and imagine yourself in the shoes of a person who has a little bit more difficult time than you letting go of things, managing their time, getting and staying organized. Maybe they have some trouble with shopping a little too much, but you like shopping too, so I'm sure you can relate to that. Maybe they are a little bit more sentimental than you and they hold on to things longer than, than you might think is reasonable. I want you to put yourself in their shoes. And then I want you to imagine that, um, that the best way you think to help that person is to just tell them what a mess they are. Oh my gosh, they're such a mess. Why can't they just get their stuff together? It's so funny, isn't it, that they can't get their stuff together, that they can't um, get organized, that they're always late. Oh, you know, oh my gosh, you know Sally. She's always going to be late because she's such a mess. Oh, it's just really funny, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. But the same kinds of judgments that we make about people about other kinds of challenges that they might have, like maybe holding on to more body weight than you feel comfortable with, or as I said before, shopping a little too much, or um, gosh, anything. Those same kinds of judgments, when we don't put ourselves in that person's shoes and imagine what they might be going through and how they're feeling, but we make comments anyway, it's just not very nice. So I want you this time, and it doesn't even matter if it's about organizing, but if there's something that you find is different about another person that you don't quite understand, maybe instead of laughing, you could ask them about it and say, gosh, I can see you're having a hard time with this. Is there anything I can do to help? What would be helpful from me to, to help you with this particular situation? Or maybe you can say, you know, I've never been through this myself, but I've had this other challenge and that was really tough for me. So I can imagine that this is tough for you too. So my tip for today is be nice. Be nice to people. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know what got them to this point, And you don't even know the tremendous lengths that they have already been through to get them to where they are now. So maybe when you see them and the house seems a little bit more cluttered than you would like, it's already a tremendous transformation from where it was before. And maybe they were feeling really proud of the path that they had gone and you just, you just shot them down. You don't want to be that person. You want to be a nice person. You want to be a person who lifts other people up and encourages them because I'm telling you, there's enough meanies in this world out here. So I hope this opened your eyes a little bit tonight and I hope that the next time you see somebody with a challenge, or maybe you don't see that challenge, maybe you just say, hey, how you doing? I hope you're doing great, and is there anything I can do to help? All right, this is Nettie, signing off. I'll see you next time.